I still work from home, work in my office most days. Uh, and then I retreat to this living space here. This is my uh, living room space and we sit in here and we just relax. So home is different now because I, I have a closeness with my children because I'm here more often, maybe more often than what they want, but I'm here. And we're, you know, making some changes, some inexpensive but necessary changes, some painting uh, to our kitchen. I'm reorganizing the cabinets. So the home is just important. It's important that it's comfortable, that we do fun things, that it's a safe place uh, for my family and I. we've done during COVID is uh we had fat. yeah we, we haven't gotten that bad but yeah we we've <laughs> we're eating a lot more comfort food so melted cheese and pretzels our air fryer is the new thing that we've gotten this year during COVID and that's really great for a lot of comfort food slightly healthier version of frying so this is our laundry room but he's turned it into a fun area where he can uh, practice his music and do his college classes and study. So the biggest changes to our house has been up on the second floor, at least for me. So this room, we've completely changed how the office is oriented. Most of the changes is our plants. There are a lot of plants everywhere. And then we just kind of rotated this table from it's the way it was before. And now this is where I'm working fully from home. Um, I feel like one lesson we learned is that just kind of decluttering things and not having junk in our area can improve our, um, just how we feel about things. Because when things are cluttered, you kind of have that headspace and it's not the best for productivity. So I'll stream movies while he plays his video game right there. And so we have a little setup like that. So here's our living room, right, where the kids usually watch TV if they're not watching it in their rooms. Um, and on this side, we, Justin built me this desk that I bought off of Amazon. And that's a chair I brought from home or from work, excuse me, from this classroom. And I'm a teacher, a kindergarten teacher. So you can see like I have a bunch of stuff over here. This is another area where Noah and Rosalind often do school. Our home this year for a lot of the time was school. And it was a space where... I could be in any room, really, and work with my son. One of the biggest changes of COVID is moving here and then going ahead and buying our house. So anyway, so we're here, and the dog's happy. Has a big yard to run in, and we like it here. It's a nice, comfortable home, and, and uh, kind of has been a little haven away from where we feel a little bit more separated than we did in our last place, which had a cul-de-sac where we were crammed in. We are looking for a open concept so that we can continue to spend more time together should there ever be another pandemic. We are also looking to have a swimming pool or an area to have a swimming pool put in. We are also looking for a large entertainment area in the living room so that when people come over, it does not feel crowded. And we can enjoy having friends at the new house. I am also looking for a large backyard so that I can create a garden and grow my own produce. So this is definitely the before. We patched things up um, and we're gonna add shelving up in here, a long shelf for all my paper products and then shelves below for pantry space. You see all my junk. This is my brand new washer and dryer. I'm really thankful for it. Now we just need the shelves so that I can put my food back in here because it's been on my kitchen counters and it's been driving me nuts. I think with COVID happening, being in our homes more, it pushed me to work on things and it's a positive thing. So I'm thankful all of this 
is um, a positive thing and it's nice to live in your home and to be in your home to where you're like, I really like being here. So that's where I'm at and I'm happy and excited for that.